Now, I don't normally cover My Hero leaks, but tonight is special because tonight we've got the leaks for chapter 430, which is the final chapter of My Hero Academia. So I figured, you know what? Let's just do this thing. So spoilers beware, and let's get into it. Chapter 430, titled My Hero Academia. So the chapter begins with Deku and Tomorrow's words at the end of the war. You've already destroyed it, and it will depend on what you guys do from now on. Deku repeats the narration from the first chapter, but with a few differences. People are not born equal. Each of us has a different form or shape, but despite of that, we still care for others. And these differences, both internal and external, allow us to run towards other people and search for a point of intersection. Kota then enters the teacher's room. Big bro Mado Deku sensei, where should we gather for the afternoon class? We then see that Deku is wearing a suit and writing in his notebook. This is the truth about society that I learned when I was 17 years old. That day, I heard everyone's voices, and that motivates me to this day. If caring for others is the first step to becoming a hero, then that day, everyone was the greatest hero. I was able to live a dream that should have been impossible. The story that began when my body moved before I could even think has come to an end alongside the embers of One for All. As Deku says this, we see panels showing the embers fading away little by little. We then get some panels of the graduation and how they followed in Yue's tradition because Bakugo and Manuma had blown up the stage right after the speech. The narration then says, do you want to know why I'm still writing? Well, because there are still some pages left. Eight years later, we see Dai's classroom. The teacher asks the students what they want to become, and one of them says he's going to become a hero. One wants to work in Hatsume's lab, and one wants to become a great doctor like Dr. Yoshida, and one wants to join LaBrava's company. One of the students then responds to Dai wanting to become a hero and says that he'll never make it with his quirk. He also says that there are fewer villains now and that the number of heroes has stabilized, so only the strongest kids have a chance. Then after school, Dai says that people have changed. When he was a kid, everyone wanted to be like All Might, Endeavor, Genus, Deku, or Dynamite. He feels that he's the only one still acting like a child and feels insecure about it, which is why he goes to the All Might statue. We then cut to Shoji receiving the Imamura Award for his efforts resolving prejudice-based incidents in a peaceful way. He dedicates the award to all the heteromorphs who marched to the hospital eight years ago and says that he's only here today thanks to their will. Next, we see that the Ingenium, Froppy, Kraty, and Uravity team is visiting schools all over the country and that the Quirk Counseling Expansion Project created by Uraraka is considered one of the most essential aspects of today's society. We see a panel of Eri with her friends from the music club and Aizawa shows Deku a video of Bakugo screaming at a civilian for filming him too closely. Aizawa says that this will make him fall down the rankings and Todoroki will shoot ahead. We then see that Shoto patrols day and night and treats his fans very well. Recently, hardly anyone calls him Endeavor's son anymore. Deku says he'll pass Mount Lady, Kamui, and maybe even Mirio in the rankings. Also, Manama and Hoanuki's spots are great too. Aizawa asks if Deku doesn't feel lonely, and he replies that during Fuwa's talk with Aizawa in Chapter 425, he realized that he could use his knowledge and experiences to help other people, even without a quirk. He says that he thinks that's still a cool way to live. Deku then asks if Aizawa agrees, but Aizawa says that he should be stricter with the students. Nowadays, most students who enter UA think they're guaranteed to become heroes and make it big, so it's important to be strict so that they don't get too arrogant. Deku then says that he's barely seen his friends since graduation, since their days off rarely coincide. On his way home from work, he sees official Tokoyami products and Kirishima on the TV. Some children run around shouting unbreakable, but one of them stumbles. Deku rushes over to help and sees that Dai tried to do the same, but he also stumbled. Dai then recognizes Deku and tells him all of his insecurities about the future and how he always comes here to All Might's statue when he's feeling down. Can I become a hero like All Might in you? Deku then flashes back to what he himself asked All Might so long ago, and then he begins to analyze Dai's quirk in his usual way. It's a quirk that allows him to pull plates out of his hair. Dai is a little bit startled by the way Deku's talking, but he then realizes Deku is trying to help him. Deku then thinks to himself that now it's my turn to give people dreams. He then turns to Dai and says, you're going to be fine because you ran to help that kid. You can become a hero. Deku then tells Dai to do his best. If I said I'm not a little sad, I'd be lying. However, I can at least encourage other people like that. 
And that was the story of how we all became the greatest heroes. My Hero Academia, the end, dot, dot, dot. Except it's not the end because however, All Might comes out of nowhere and literally smashes the word end with his fist. All Might then apologizes for the delay. And Deku says, I could have met you at the airport, but All Might wanted to give him a surprise gift. The data from his fight against All for One eight years ago opened up many possibilities. Technology evolves just like quirks, All Might says, as he opens up a briefcase. Deku says that this must have cost a lot, and All Might says it was developed by a friend of his from the US and Hatsume, and financed by the Class A alumni, especially Bakugo. All Might tells Deku to take this to heart, kid. You've earned this power too, fair and square. And then we have a panel of Bakugo outstretching his hand saying, Come on, Deku. We then see Hawks working and being informed about a landslide on a highway, to which he asks for some heroes to help solve it. Deku immediately jumps in with his new support item given to him by All Might, and when he looks down, he sees this ghost apparition of Shigaraki. We then have a two-page double spread, the final one of the series, that is all of the Class 1A heroes as adults in their super outfits. And it says, this is the story of how we will continue to reach out. And that is the end of Chapter 430 and My Hero Academia as a whole. Again, the title being My Hero Academia. And there you have it. Man, the end of an era. This feels so weird to think that there will no longer be any MHA. Now, I haven't read all of MHA, but I've been in and out for many, many years. And I actually picked it back up maybe about a year ago, like tuning in for this final arc that it's been on. So, you know, I can't speak to every piece of it, but I thought MHA was really good for what it was. You know, I wouldn't compare it to something like JJK, but, you know, it's just a different type of shonen. And for it, I really like this ending. It's been a nice, like, epilogue for these last five or six chapters, or however many it was. And this very much felt like a fitting end to this series. I love the full circle of, you know, Deku once again not having a quirk, but just trying to help in whatever way he can, going on to inspire the next generation the same way All Might did for him. But then All Might, full circle, just like he did at the start of the series, being the one to gift Deku kind of a quirk once again via this technology. So we do get to have our happy ending. We do get to have Deku and Bakugo continue to chase one another for being the greatest hero. So, you know, very bittersweet, but I liked it. And uh, again, just felt like a fitting end to my hero and at some point I will go back and probably read all the chapters I did miss over you know the years here and there but um yeah I'm happy with it but take that with a grain of salt as somebody who you know hasn't read every single chapter but you know with the last one being tonight I felt like it was only right to cover it and see how this show series came to an end um but yeah let me know y'all's thoughts I would love to hear them especially those of you that have been keeping up with MHA for the long haul. Are you happy with this ending? Do you wish it had gone another way? Um, Were you hoping that Deku stayed quirkless? I haven't really seen too many people that were excited about that turn of events, so I'm going to assume people are happy with this All Might Iron Man, you know, transition we've gotten here at the end. But uh, anyway, they did tease some big announcements for MHA in the future, but I have to imagine that's probably related to the anime or other properties and not necessarily a continuation. It does seem to be that this is the end, but you know, you never know. Maybe we'll get like a sequel series or something. But in any case, I've yapped too long. Let me know y'all's thoughts and I'll see you soon.